Is it easier to rap with English or Japanese? Yeah, it really depends on what I'm trying to do. If I want to get a little more personal, I think English is much more easier. Mm. But if I'm just trying to like get in your face or whatever, I'm going to use, you know, <laughs> Japanese. But it, it just depends on how I feel. It's, it's not like I do the English to Japanese ratio in my song. <laughs> There's a ratio. 50 here, 50 there. Hey everybody, Max here again, and today I got another special guest. This is Kazuo. He's a multilingual, well, bilingual Japanese English rapper based here in Tokyo. Welcome. Welcome to the Max D interview. This guy, this guy is spacing out. <laughs> oh, He's there. oh, oh shit. Okay, uh, yeah, hi. Whatever he said, that's me. Yeah. I don't know which mic to look at. <laughs> we can, you can look at, dude, that, that's one, that one's mine, that one's mine, but. I like that we, one. We more. good, it we got, good. It got my cute side. Kazuo just dropped a song called Banzai, and <laughs> like, I can't, all right, this, this, this interview is gonna be way different, I think you could tell, than my other ones, but, but he just signed to Warner Japan. He's got a lot of things coming. He's also gonna be touring with Ali, if you know, Ali is a band here that, Pretty famous for doing the Jujutsu Kaisen ending. Lost in paradise, night and day are fading now. Oh, so, are you? Are, are you what? Are you the the main vocalist? Yeah, now? yeah, yeah. I got. I, yeah, that, that's me. <laughs> He's just you, he, you're flipping everything. Everything yeah. is gonna be different. He also does the the raps on Keep Your Head Up. You uh -huh. did. I did Keep Your Head Up. You've been doing a lot of stuff here in Tokyo that. I think a lot of people don't know your full backstory though, so. It's because I don't tell them shit. <laughs> your your um, anime so, backstory. Uh, my anime backstory. All right, where do we even start? I mean, th I think we'll get there in this interview, but. No, we there, won't. There's, I want to I wanna talk about uh, something very special to me. Am I going to get canceled? And some? it's, uh, oh, and it, I've, you guys heard of Herbalife? Well, I've become an, an ambassador for the brand. <laughs> don't, don't, buy, don't buy Herbalife. You know, we gotta get to we gotta get to the meat of the video here. The very first time I saw your videos, actually, maybe five six years ago, when you made videos about going to school in Japan, yeah, and then like some of the good and shitty experiences. Mm -hmm. and Luckily, I did get my America, revenge by throwing that kid's experience. backpack yeah, out the window. Yeah, yeah. But afterwards, you dropped Gaijin. You know, you're half or. We, we don't say half anymore, right? Yeah, my manager call, says double. I just say, I say double or mix because it's just like, I'm not half of something. I don't know, that, that feels weird. It feels like invalidating. Like, I'm not completely this just because like I have one parent, you know? I was raised in the culture, yeah. you know? And even, yeah, it's just it's just weird to so, say half. So you say like mixed Japanese. Mixed like, Japanese, like or, or multi-ethnic, multinational. Do you ever say uh, black Japanese or black and Japanese? Oh yeah, or... I, I, I think I use black Japanese a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Blackanese? But no, nah, we don't do that. <laughs> that was and, a Chris Tucker and, thing. Yeah, 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 that was, that was his thing. Yeah. <laughs> Rush Hour 4 is coming out, by the yeah, way. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, they're, like... they're old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you like do the, say, if you do say, uh, yeah, they're both like they're, they're, uh, close yeah. to sixty. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure Jackie Chan still can like kick ass and everything. But who who is beefing with a seventy year old? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bro, yeah. At, yeah. At this point, it's just like life. <laughs> <laughs> you were born in Japan. You did move to New York. And like, tell me if I'm getting this right. You are not getting I this right. I was flipped. You were born in New York. I was born in the United States uh, of America. Yeah. Okay, he's American citizen, guys. Very much so. And, uh, I, I'm wearing the American colors. Was this intentional? <laughs> no, I just wanted to wear something bright. <laughs> it was not intentional. It was not intentional. Nah, but uh, but yeah, really, I was born in the States, um, but I was raised most of my life here. My mom is Japanese, my, my dad's American. Yeah, I moved here when I was like four, moved back to the States at after my first year of high school. Just kind of came back here <laughs> like two years ago. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So, mm -hmm. and you're 26 right now. I'm 42. He's actually 42, guys. I'm, yeah. I'm, so, I'm getting everything wrong, guys, yeah, in this interview. Well, Clear, what's, look at this, guys. Yeah, he's, I don't like how this, you just what's your, like, skin, what's your skincare routine? I don't Come know, on, I don't it. know, like, why you jump into these, like, conclusions when you could have just, like, simply emailed me. Should like, I? yo, you know, I'm gonna share this thing about you, bro. You know, so let me make sure I don't get it wrong. I should I should just leave like this interview. I'm, I'm yeah. Let me have your I'm channel, bro. Completely. <laughs> like, hey, like, just switch. We'll switch channels. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's keep, let's keep it going. <laughs> we, we keep I'm, it going. All right. And also, I know your next question, and I prefer uh, maybe a gay son, not a thought daughter. 
Shit. I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to figure out what you just said. You know, you don't, you don't know that. You don't know that. It's like I, I heard like geisha, and gay, I was like, gay son or yeah, thought daughter. Yeah, yeah. That's like a fucking everybody wants to be like a street interviewer now but everybody's like coming with the same type of personality and same questions the the, the most popular question is would you rather have a gay son or a thought who's daughter? doing that fucking, who actually did that fucking 17 year olds that don't know how to be funny yet oh oh god <laughs> you know what i wanted to talk a little bit you so you went to Japanese school. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are very curious about Japanese school, like especially for a mixed kid. Do you have any specific stories maybe you remember? You didn't speak Japanese yeah. perfectly well when you first moved to Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I think to, to add on to that, it was like, cause I was like so young when I moved to uh, Japan that you don't know the concept of like the world. You don't know what countries are just yet. So like, even though I took a plane to come here, like I'm thinking, you know, my old home was like right down the block. You know, Brooklyn's yeah. just probably right over there <laughs> <laughs> or I, whatever. I get back, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't really know, especially if you come from like a multilingual household, you don't understand the concept of languages. Because mm. the way you talk, you think that's normal. My mom would speak to me in Japanese. Mm. I don't remember too much of my dad, but I'm pretty sure he spoke English. English was my first language. In my conversations, I'm speaking English. But, you know, when I count, I'll be like, Ichi ni sanshi. And I think that's like, that's how any, everybody counts. You feel me? Also, coming here from like kindergarten to like third grade, I went to an English speaking school. And every other kid was also mixed with Japanese. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, Everybody else was like kind of growing up in that multilingual household, so we all talked the same. It wasn't until like fourth grade where I went to a, just a Japanese speaking school where I realized, oh shit, there's two languages. There's, there's two of these. <laughs> the, they're only the doing one. Sanshi, that was a separate thing. What the fuck? <laughs> well, well, because you're saying you know you went to, with school with other mixed kids, so you're yeah. you're speaking like Japanese. By then, like we we already knew those were two separate languages, but it was just like the fact that if I were to say you know Ichi Sanshi or you know something else when I I know like my classmates would understand that. It wouldn't be till I realized that you know. I'm just as bad at English as I am with Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like kindergarten to third to like you know third grade, you know I don't have to speak English full time. <laughs> I don't have to speak Japanese full time. Now I move to this new school. I have to speak Japanese full time. It's like what? What was that like making that? I mean, you're third grade. That's like eight, eight, nine years old, right? Yeah. So yeah. I remember just being quiet like the whole time, <laughs> not saying shit. <laughs> Which is crazy because, I mean, the way, you know, you are now and the, your music, I think your music is very high mm. energy, very outgoing. You would think that you were like that maybe from like a young age. Nah, not really. I was even like to this day, like I'm very fucking introverted. I just have my moments of like where I just want to scream in somebody's face. <laughs> <laughs> just to see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just tell the world that I would rather have a gay son. <laughs> nah, Pause. Nah, it was, uh, it, it was, it was just like, cause you know, there's that language barrier. You know, I don't understand what everybody else is saying. What I want to say, nobody's going to fucking know. So it's just like, you know, they don't talk to me. I don't talk to them. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was the thing for like a few months. I was able to like sometimes carry on a conversation if it was like very simple, like what is your favorite color or shit like that. <laughs> That's like, like you get one answer and then it's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it's not even like, it's not even like, well, there are days where I'm a fan of blue. No, it's aka. Aka, aka. Not even aka, not even aka this, just aka. And then, and they're like, and then move on. <laughs> Damn. Uh, also, yeah, it came with fucking bullying too at schools. In what way? In one way, Japanese like, bullying is like different than American. It's, it's bullying. psychological, but then uh, I got pretty physical at times. And oh, here's yeah. the thing: I wasn't, I wasn't intimidated by the other kids. I was nothing to me, but it was just like I was getting jumped. <laughs> you know? What I mean? <laughs> Wait, so it was just, yeah, I, I was, I, yeah. I was not it's like kind of a hive mind thing. It's just like, well, it's partially hive mind, but also on some shit like. When it comes to Japanese school, you know, a lot of these kids have known each other since Yochian, so kindergarten. So they've known each other since three. Here's this nine-year-old coming in 
<laughs> here's this nine-year-old coming in while everybody has known each other for like six years like, here's this nine-year-old coming from coming from an american like an english-speaking school you know he doesn't he doesn't look japanese at all he has a little afro too what do who the fuck is this guy japanese people like afros who the fuck is this guy not not these kids though the way i look and the way and the fact that they don't know me at all yeah, yeah. you know that opened the door for let's fuck this guy up in the japanese way though so i don't know like what do you even say <laughs> yeah yeah basically the, shit what like that. The, the thing is this is such a common thing i hear from a lot of mixed kids who grow up in japan i mean not everyone has this experience yeah but it does feel like there's quite a few when you're nine this is like not almost 20 years ago right so, but now I'm trying to think. Uh, like well, I'm 42 right now. Right now? <laughs> He's, you, just, you got the you, you got the callback. The callback. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, callback. Yeah. Like now nowadays, I always feel like it's a lot more cooler to be mixed and all that stuff. But or especially you're also mixing English and Japanese, and this uh -huh. is like what a lot of I think maybe even the you know even the J rap community, J hip hop community yeah, 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 yeah. has been a, a thing to mix English in there, even though maybe they're, yeah. they, they're not fluent English speakers in the J hip hop yeah, yeah, community. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, you know, everybody want to be black, <laughs> but they want to beat on the black kid. <laughs> nah, they want to, they want to, they want to hate on the black kid until they want to be black by the time they're 20. <laughs> right, they they yeah. hit the, the sage yeah, 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 yeah. They, 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 they become of age. They, they learn. They, they mature from their violent ways and right. now they rap about being violent in from the hood well can, can, yeah from the hood in uh yeah. from saitama yeah from fucking asakusa <laughs> i'm from the hood in asakusa yeah it is a little bit like old there but it's just working class it's not <laughs> it's, the ghetto it's not the ghetto <laughs> But, you know, I would like to actually talk about that a little bit because I think there is a lot of great hip hop artists. Who? <laughs> <laughs> me? Yeah, Just me? Just you. No, no, I mean, like, maybe ones that you would say is yeah, yeah, yeah. not good. Some that are here. No, like, no, I fuck with pretty, a, lot, yeah. a lot of people. Who, who are your favorites? The J Rap? Yeah, J Rap. So I was a big fan of Ko for a little bit back when he dropped that uh, uh, Ichima. Okay, can you give like an answer that yeah. not any, oh, no. not everyone else would no. say? <laughs> no, I'm being interviewed. It's like, no, it's like, ah, back in my day, you know, we listened to Teriyaki Boys. What the, it's not even that old. Ko's not that old. Yeah, Ko's like, that's just like the the last generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, All right, no, obviously I'm gonna have to say Ko, Miyachi, mm -hmm. <laughs> Kazuo. Okay. No, this is a cop out answer. No, no, cop -out. No, no. <laughs> no, it's the cop out answer. No, but oh, like could, even it. even like a witch, I started listening to. I was like, oh shit! Like this is uh, like, really, really. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's nice. That's nice. I can't. <laughs> I can't. That's tell, like, nice. The, I uh, here, here, here's my thing. Here's my thing about a witch. Yeah. She got to stop saying the N word. Wait, is she? Is she saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She got that song. I think "Love Me Better" or "Love Me More" or some shit. And I, I liked it. And then somebody had to point out, like, yo, she's saying the N-word. It's like, it was like something, something in that nigga trade. And like, I don't know if she's talking about like her forex boyfriend or whatever, but it's just like, yo, you, you're not fucking black. What the fuck? Is there anyone that could use the N-word that's not black? N no. <laughs> yeah, right. That's no. The, that's <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, no. It's just wild to me because, you know, she's a, she's a non-black artist doing a black art form she has a black daughter so she should know better or she thinks that she if she, her taking black dick automatically gives her an n-word pass like fuck that and oh, oh yeah and also i think she caught heat for that or something it wasn't it wasn't too publicized so she re-released the album and took out like all the n-words all the all the slurs out she she, she quietly did it she, she, you know, she like, didn't apologize she was just like let me re-release this. Okay. Try to gaslight us. She tried to Mandela effect. <laughs> the she tried, Mandela effect. She tried to, yeah, <laughs> Mandela effect. Well, <laughs> the N-word. I do want to go into the J hip hop community a little yeah. bit because I'm not like that deep into the this world. But speaking of you being one of the few mixed black Japanese mm -hmm. artists here, you did bring up how back in 2020, you dropped a mixtape, Akuma. Yeah. And then shortly after that, or is it shortly before that, uh, the whole... Black Lives Matter things happening. Oh, yeah, and, it was before. Yeah. Okay, it was before. Yeah. And then uh, in Japan, there's maybe some of the J hip hop community. Obviously, it's influenced by Black culture mm -hmm. in America. Yeah. There are some people who were trying to respect what was going on yeah, at the yeah, time, yeah. and, yeah, then, they were. and yeah. then there's some that maybe just didn't, weren't saying anything. 
uh, or some people who were becoming the face of Japanese yeah, yeah, hip hop, yeah, yeah. even though they weren't. Yeah, uh, yeah, that shit was corny. What were your thoughts on that as being like somebody who's actually mixed black? And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there were like, you know, artists who were showing love. I think there was this one really corny song, music video by Japanese rappers. <laughs> it was called Black Lives Matter. I could be, I could be fucking lying right now, but I remember seeing it. And it was just like, yo, you know, I'm not the only, you know, black Japanese artist or black artist based in Japan. You could have got one of them <laughs> oh, yeah. to like, you know, give their perspective. Might be a little tokenizing, but still, it, it, you know, still either way, it w the results were going to be corny or whatever. But I don't know. I just feel like there was not enough response or nobody was really talking about it. I feel like on the Japanese like hip hop scene about when all that shit was going down. Not to say there wasn't protests, because I've seen videos of the protests and all that. So I know people gave a shit, but I feel like it just wasn't enough. Which is crazy because all these all these Japanese rappers, like they base their whole aesthetic. They take part in black art, but they don't give a sh they don't show like they don't show respect towards it. That's like whatever. And I remember posting a tweet. It was one of those like serious tweets, like you know when you screenshot your notes app. <laughs> <laughs> you actually went kind of like I did. You're like this. This is actually yeah. kind of deep. This is some deep stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, I did. I did screenshot of the notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did one of those, right? And 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 I got, I got you know a good response to it. But then there were like a few people like, no, hip hop is worldwide. It's for everybody. You, I don't have to respect black people to just listen to rap. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? How are you just outing yourself like that? It's like one of those, you listen to rap, but you avoid every black artist besides maybe Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> He's good though. Yeah. <laughs> or you're choosing the safe people, you're, you know, Tupac. <laughs> safe. <laughs> the safe. The safe yeah, you can't, you can't. Yeah, actually you can't go wrong with saying like you're, you're a big Tupac fan. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, I'm not racist. Like, yeah. Tupac's in my top. 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not even top 10. No, 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 you're pushing but, it. It's just weird because I'm coming into, you know, the Japan hip hop world or just the Japanese music world. I don't know. It's like I'm navigating between like two, two scenes really because there are artists who are from like other parts of the world who are trying to become like bigger, but based in Japan. And then you have the people who are born, raised, whatever in Japan, spent their whole lives in Japan, also trying to make it big with music. And I kind of navigate between not really completely in one or the other, because, you know, I'm somebody who was raised in Japan, but I left like during my developmental years, my teen years. So I spent some time in New York. I started like my music journey in New York. So I come back here with like kind of a New York perspective or just an American, black American perspective when it comes to here. And then in, within my scene, I'm get, entering like the Japanese scene and I'm the minority yeah, yeah, <laughs> in, a, yeah. in a sense of my own art form. I, I just don't know how to approach it sometimes but then maybe I don't need to approach it. Just kind of do my own shit. I know like you were born in New York, you went to Japan, then came back to New York. You started kind of writing and creating music shortly after, right? Yeah, I kind of like dabbled into it when I was still living here. When I was like in middle school, high school, but it was just like writing shit. It's not like I was pursuing it. I was just bored. <laughs> but boredom, sometimes boredom is the best uh, yeah. motivator. <laughs> yeah, 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 really. You know, I wasn't paying attention in class, you know, I was trying to escape from my kind of terrible home life, oh, you know, yeah. so I, I needed something to do. Little trauma sprinkled in. Little, little like, trauma. Just, it, I didn't have a good silver spoon life. Yeah. I went through shit. I want to talk about a little bit about your creative process. Obviously, you've been writing lyrics and you know, you've know produced for yourself. You've mm. also had other people produce for you. How did you decide to be like, I'm going to mix Japanese and English or like, I'm, I'm going to specifically do oh. this art form? That's, that's, a, that's a good question, sir. Mm. I'm actually kind of pissed off. You <laughs> Now you're making me think. Um, <laughs> going to, nah, going. nah, 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 nah. The decision to like make my lyrics bilingual. So when I started like writing lyrics, it was in English. There was like probably one or two songs where I did like shit in Japanese. But the decision to to do the bilingual thing was like, was when I listened to uh, this Korean, Korean American rapper, uh, Flo Sick. He, he was a, you know, full on Korean dude, but born and raised in New York. He was a part of this like trio kind of, I think like Young Money's answer to like K-pop. 
<laughs> it was just it was just like three Asian American guys like making the poppiest music. Flo Sick was like the rapper in the group. Was it, their music was also kind of pop? It was R and B, like R and B pop. And you know this guy, he just raps like he's straight out of New York. I mean, he is. He did started putting Korean into his raps, so he would go back and back and forth English, Korean. And I thought that shit was like so fucking cool. So I'm like, yo, what if I did like the Japanese version of that? I know I'm not the first like artist to ever do the bilingual shit, but I feel like it was a reflection of like how I was growing up here. You know, a lot of my friends were bilingual and that's how we talk. So I wanted to kind of reflect that, but into lyrics. It is cool. And I think a lot of people appreciate it who can speak both languages. If you don't, it's like obviously very hard to understand what the hell is yeah, yeah, being yeah. said. I, I look at it like this. If I could put this simply, maybe it's not meant to be fully understood because I do take a lot from my life, but also just like language wise, it just, I think I'm more so like doing the bilingual lyrics also because it just sounds fucking cool. I don't know if it's the right word to use, but is it easier to rap with English or Japanese? Yeah, it really depends on what I'm trying to do topic wise. If I want to get a little more personal, I think English is much more easier because like just the way the language is, you know, I feel like I could express myself with more emotions. Mm. But if I'm just trying to like, get in your face or whatever i'm gonna use you know <laughs> japanese but it, it just depends on how i feel it, it's not like i purposely try to like see like do the english to japanese ratio in my song <laughs> there's a ratio 50 here 50 there like 50, nah it's just it's, it's, it depends on feeling you are mixing languages mm -hmm. you're also mixing your own mixed experiences into the lyrics but it's also the the type of music that you do isn't even fully what i would say is rap it's like some yeah. sort of alternative rap or yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a it's a blend of a many things it's very cringy like my explanation <laughs> for why i do it right. it's just that i don't appear black to some people i don't appear asian to some people so i fit into this category of like racially ambiguous right you know People look at me, they're like, what the fuck is he? It doesn't help, doesn't help I have bleached fucking hair. The whole ambiguity of my looks, I wanted my music to also reflect it. It's like, it's not completely rap. It's like, I can, there's a little bit of rap in there, huh? And like, you know, yeah, punk, yeah. you know, rock, you know, pop and shit. But also I wanted it to reflect on like the music I actually listen to. Which is, you have examples of? Enka. That's it. It's it's all Inca. Oh, it's all Inca. It's all Inca. Jero. Yeah. Jero. Like Jero. See that that I feel like that's a microaggression. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that brought back traumatic that, that memories. Nice. Here's a here's a here's a oh, fucking thing. Makes... When Jero was fucking hot for oh, wow. for your you know a good three months, he uh, <laughs> yeah. it's just it's just a thing with like I guess Japanese youth and especially in the two thousands. At some points, you're the you're the first ever black person they'll ever they they've ever met. Any black celebrity, you look like them. A lot of people compared him to Will Smith at the time, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? You're see like, what I mean? So I've gotten like Tyrese before. You get how do you how do you get Tyrese? I don't know. I how, it's just look, like it's just like what um fucking Fast and the Furious was getting popular. I'm like, I, I'd be okay with Ludacris. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're like the same shade. We we both got a long face. Maybe they thought Tyrese <laughs> was Ludacris. <laughs> that was the same person. That was the same person. That's why. Oh god, it's, it gets even worse. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about Ali, how they found you. Kazuo, as we said in the beginning of the video, is working with Ali. It's unofficial, but basically, they need some rapping done for the shows. They call me. How did they reach out to you? Like, what what song did they find? Okay, um, th this this helps me go on to my next point. <laughs> we'll, we'll go to that story. Yes, sir. But they reached out to me via my business email. They didn't DM me. Oh. They reached out to my business email. That's how you know it's legit. Yeah. You, you guys wondering, oh, Kazuo's too Hollywood to fucking respond. Or, oh, I asked him to collab, but he hasn't responded. I've seen your message. <laughs> he and has. It's, and it's because you haven't reached out to the fucking email in my bio. MGMT at Kazuo.fucking.org. Anyways, yeah. Everyone, so, everyone should know. Go to the business email. Go Don't to send the a DM. B business DM email. looks like you could just yeah. be trying to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, they, so they reached out to the business email, right? And <laughs> and so like my my homie my homie Ozzy, who 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 manages me on the the state side and everything, he was like, "Yo, we got this email 
it's completely in Japanese. I ran it through Google Translate. I can only get a few things like Sony. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> looks promising. Look, look, looks great. You know, they sent two YouTube links. I like the songs. Yeah, can you check it out? So then I go home, I, I, I peep it, and I'm like, okay. Basically says, hi, we're Ali, and we're about to debut our, our song October. This is 2020, right? Mm. So, and we're working on an EP right now, and we want you to be a part of it. Looking forward to your response or something like that. Were you responding like with business Japanese? Yeah. Like, were you, you <laughs> yeah. going in? Because <laughs> uh, you told me that you're not the best initially at like yeah keigo yeah keigo. like even when i try keigo like it just sounds rude <laughs> even keigo sounds rude yeah it just sounds like i'm mocking the person well, it's like, like, it's, like i rather like by my conversational japanese sounds much more polite let's just say like i need something from them i'm like nantoka nantoka itadakemasu ka versus like kore kore hoshi desu that sounds like yeah, like, I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> that kind of influenced my decision to move back to Japan. Uh, maybe days pass and they sent me like the original demo to keep your head up. And then I remember I went to Colorado and then they finally get back to me and they're like, here is the updated version with all the, with the, with the open verses. We want you to talk about maybe something like this. Mm. Also, we're going to need it in four days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have no access to fucking... To, to any recording equipment but then i remember i, I go to i go to la in like a, a few in a few days at this point so as soon as i got to la i was baked out of my fucking mind <laughs> <laughs> like i got i got a couple of days uh, to yeah, do this i got shit. i got i got yo taha yo i'm yo i need to record some shit for sony you know can you can you, for, you sony. for sony <laughs> i'm high yeah you but know? i'm for sony and i didn't even have lyrics written i kind of re like I had the mic this in front of me and I was writing the lyrics and shit. And, and yeah, 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 and that's that's oh. how that's how keep your head up <laughs> was created. <laughs> was created a baked Kazuo. You can tell too. You can tell I'm fucking baked. Like some... From that point on, you also started doing some shows with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I recorded "Keep Your Head Up" in about a month after. Yeah, a little after a month, I fly back to Japan. I meet them, they're cool, they like me too. I'm like, this is only gonna go on for like maybe two shows. Two shows turned into like 10. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and by the 10th show, it was like, I was working with them or I was like doing shows with them for like about four months. That four months turned into two years. <laughs> <laughs> two shows to 10 yeah. shows to I mean, four months. To be to fair, two. there was that six month gap. Oh yeah, the gap, oh, the six month gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what was it, so, what, the original? Rap, the rapper on the... No, it was the drummer. Oh, the the original it was drummer. The drummer. It was Kadio, yeah. Um, so Got caught he, scamming. He was the one so. who initially emailed me. Hit my business email. So if a fucking convicted criminal can actually email me instead of hit my DM, what does that make you? Stop DMing Kazuo, guys. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're actually trying to slide like uh, yeah and i'm still gonna ignore you but i'll appreciate the effort <laughs> thank you for thank the validation you. You. <laughs> yeah yeah wait what what, what was the the it criminal was, conviction he was like some government tax return scam thing we didn't know till he got fucking arrested <laughs> that he was doing that shit and and this was like mid 2020 right 2021 what? it was like april the day he got um arrested the day after that I was supposed to record with them. You know, their fans were responding to me very well being at these shows. So it's just like, yo, we, we need more songs with Kazuo in it. Then I get a call from Jin, who's the keyboard guy. And I'm like, am I in trouble? Did I get fired? <laughs> uh, whatever. Yeah. So I answer, dude sounding sad as fuck. And he's like, that's okay. <laughs> It's a, it sounds a little sensual too. <laughs> that's just the way you said it. <laughs> All right, Kazuo. 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 And then he's basically explaining, you know, Kadio, the drummer got arrested. I was like, oh, like what the fuck? <laughs> what that what that got to do with us? But no, <laughs> no, no, no. But he was like, I was yeah. like, what they what they got him for? And they were like, you know, scamming or whatever. We we don't know like the the complete details, but we got to cancel everything. You know, any recording session, any show, or whatever. And I'm like, shit. 
you're fucking up my money, but <laughs> <laughs> damn. I'm sure it's good money too at it, this point. It, 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 they're paying me handsomely. There's a reason why I'm still touring with them. But <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. But basically, yeah. So I, I ask them like, what's the future for you guys? They're like, we we don't know, but we'll keep you posted. So many shows announced. My 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 bank account was gonna be blessed and nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. So I was. I was, of course, not just because of the money, but because, you know, Ali was on a good fucking run. We're, you know, we're on fucking fire and then we have to stop all that. So I'm just like, oh, damn. Yeah. Momentum is everything. The momentum, dude, we, the shit was going too good, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And, you know, I'm fucking depressed about this shit. I'm in LA. I'm not even enjoying the palm trees. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you kind of need the, that. The, sunny, the sunniness. But yeah, I was pretty fucking stressed about it, you know? Yeah, so, and then they called me while I was in LA. You know, Jen calls me. He's like, Kazoka. Koi ga okashi. No, no, no. He's like, Kazoka. Um, and then he, he updates. He's like, yeah, we're going to take a break for six months. And then hopefully everything bounces back. Hopefully everybody still loves us. Meanwhile, my mom's sending me like videos of like, you know, her filming the TV. He's like, ain't this your friend? And then it shows Kadio in handcuffs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And, then, and you know, they're talking about one of the members of the band who performs the ending theme to Jesus Kaisen. I'm like, you don't have to go that far. <laughs> you, <laughs> went, you don't have to went, go in detail. They went in deep. That's like Crunchyroll article. Like yeah, anime exactly. Articles. I'm like, yeah, that's him. <laughs> yeah. People are asking me to speak on it if I fucking knew anything about that. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a pretty dark time. So then I come back to Japan to nothing. I maybe did one or two shows. Your own shows. Yeah, my own shows. Going through a slump, and that's when I also made the decision to stop doing club shows because they're draining, and I don't get to be creative on stage. Yeah. No, I was already doing really good shows like in New York. I was actually performing, performing. It's just it was like. I think the term is like double-edged sword. In the US, I was doing good performances. Like I got to be as creative as I could be, but motherfuckers didn't want to pay me. Mm. In Japan, they pay me, mm. but I just don't get to be as creative. I think that's the right way to yeah. explain double-edged sword. I mean, it works well with me in terms of I get to be creative, but oh, okay. it fucks me over because they're I not see. paying me. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. on the other sword uh, edge, it's, I get paid, but I don't get to be creative. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, now I see what you're saying. Just... I'm no English. <laughs> oh, so you're feeling a little depressed that the shows were stopped, but they finally, um, after mm -hmm. the six months, end of 2021. I got fat, yeah. <laughs> well, that that too. Yeah. You, fat Kazuo arc. Fazuo, happened. yeah. The Fazuo, Fazuo yeah. arc started. But you got to come back to Japan, start performing shows this year, right? in 2022, early 22. And then things picked up again. Mm -hmm, yeah, I remember what happened too when I got back and going straight to rehearsals, <laughs> not even dropping my shit off at home. And then it just, they were doing a lot of new material. It just felt real like, yo, Ali's like really coming back. I think our first show coming back was Blue Note and my fat ass wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> like literally. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I wasn't ready. In what way do you mean? Physically, mentally, mostly physically. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were like wearing a bigger hoodie, just like. I was wearing bigger hoodies. I, I had, luckily I have so much, so much baggy clothes, so. This is like in uh, San Andreas GTA when like you eat too much. Yeah, 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 I was, I was fat CJ. <laughs> I, no, I'm very much exaggerating. Like it was just, my face was like a little chunky. Told myself. I wasn't, I was gonna work out, <laughs> start jogging or whatever, but it was cold. <laughs> it's cold. It was January. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Yeah, I learned the hard way. I, I see you choosing the hard way. This is I, I had a way. questionable fit too. I had a t shirt over a turtleneck. <laughs> I mean, this is like you blending, uh, you're always blending stuff, blending languages, blending music genres. It was, it was to try to hide my gut as much as I could. <laughs> The, I'm, the, I, I low-key was rocking that shit though. It sounds kind of sexy, I man. I was low-key pulling it off. So we need a speed run to get to the end. Long story short, 2022 started to pick back up for you. Yo, cut the fucking cameras. It's, it's over. The video's over. This is an ASMR video. We're, we're, oh, he's going to start suckling the mic, guys. Guys, I think we're gonna to have to just wrap it up here. Make sure to check Kazuo out on Instagram. He's also got uh, his link tree on there. Watch Don't it. fucking DM me Don't about stop. business. Business goes on business emails. Check him out, because he's gonna be going uh, pretty hard in 2023. Yeah. Check out his videos on YouTube. Going pretty 
hard, but I'm small. <laughs> and soft. <laughs> that's, that's somebody else. <laughs>